Hey y'all, welcome back. For today's video, I have just like a simple, easy eye look for you guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put on your tape on the edges of your eyes, of course. And make sure that you get both sides as even as you can. For today's look, I'm going to be using the Tartlet In Bloom palette, which if you haven't seen it, it is such a beautiful palette. Um, the first color I'm going to take is the top corner, the whitest shade. It's called Charmer. And I'm just basically going to use this to set the concealer that I previously put on my eyelids just so that it makes all the other shadows easier to blend and it helps keep um, the creasing to a minimum on the eyelids. Then the second color that I'm going to take is the one right under that color and it's called Flower Child. I'm just going to use this in the crease of the eye just to kind of start as a transition shade for the next few colors. As you can see I just continue on with that color and kind of a bigger fluffy brush and I just blend that into my crease. I go back into the palette a few times just to get it to the um, color that you want and then I'll just do the same thing to the other eye just make sure to blend it out really well into the crease just to kind of get it started so when we go in with the darker shades it's a little bit easier to blend it out. As you can see here I'm just going back in again with that same transition shade just to get more of a color pigmentation. I wasn't really happy with the way it was looking so I just wanted to build it up a little bit more here. So the next color out of the palette that we're going to be using is that one right beside the Flower Child that we just used before. It's called Smarty Pants and it's just kind of a really light nudish brown color. It works really well right on top of that transition shade that we put down. I use it just mainly to build up the intensity right there in the outer part of the crease. So I'm going to take it and blend it right in over top of that transition shade and just build it up until the, it's the intensity that you want it to be. And I'm going to obviously do the same on both eyes. And just keep blending, blending, blending. Alright guys, the next shade we're going to be taking is the one right above the Smarty Pants. It's called Jet Setter. And again, we're going to pretty much be doing the same exact thing. It's just a little bit warmer, darker of a brown. So we're going to be taking that and putting the majority of it in the outer corner of the outer V of the eye, kind of making that cat-like shape. And then I just take it with my blending brush and drag it into sort of the inner crease area, but I stay off of the lid. For the majority of the eyeshadows, we're just going to keep them on the outer V and in the crease because we're going to put more of a shimmery shade on the lid. All I'm doing here is I took a clean blending brush. It has absolutely no product on it. It's just a big fluffy brush and blending out everything again. The next color we're going to use is the darkest one in this palette. It's called Smoke Show. And we're just going to take this and focus it only on the outer V of the eye and then just kind of blend it out so there's no harsh lines. And this is almost like a black color. It's a very deep rich brown. Here again, I'm just going to take that same brush from before with no product on it and just make sure there's no harsh lines and everything is blended out smoothly. Now for the showstopper, we're going to be taking the shimmery color from the palette and this is honestly like one of my favorite everyday shimmer shadows to use. It's so, so pretty. It's called Funny Girl and we're just going to put that all over the lid. And on the other eye, do the same exact thing. If you want, you can spray a little bit of like Fix Plus or eye drops or anything like that to make it a little bit more intense. For an everyday basis, I don't really do that. I just use it straight out of the palette. But if you want a little bit more intensity, you can definitely do that. And then I just take that same brush that I'm applying it with and kind of blend it in with those other shadows that are on the lid. And then one more time, I'll take that big fluffy brush. Just make sure everything is blended smoothly. After all my eyeshadows are applied, I'll go in with my liquid liner 
For this particular look, I'm using the NYC liquid liner. It's honestly one of my favorite ones. The wand is so easy to control. And I'm just going to do a small little wing, as you can see here. Not too dramatic. So that is the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.